Hello, everyone. My name is Li Xiaohe. I'm a PhD student at the University of Michigan School of Information. Together with my advisor, Professor Etan Adar, I'm working on making tools for artists. Today, I'm very happy to present our paper on fabricating punch needle embroideries with XY plotters. One of the most exciting things for me is the diversity of artifacts that can be produced with just thread and yarn. In early 2019, I came across punch needle embroidery, a type of embroidery that makes patterns with loops of thread. Punch needle embroidery can produce a remarkable range of textures. To make a punch needle embroidery, artists use a special needle to pierce through the backing fabric, which leaves a loop of thread on the other side of the fabric. Because of this punching and pulling motion, punch needle creates two unique textures at the same time, the loop side and the stitch side. The loop side is normally considered as the front side of the embroidery. Punch needle embroidery is a versatile craft. Tools for making punch needle embroidery range from large rug making needles to extra fine needle sets. There also exist electronic tools and digitized solutions that help to accelerate the production process. Nevertheless, fully computerized rug makers are out of reach for many because of their high cost. And power tools like hafting guns still require users to execute the design. Although punch needle embroidery is a relatively simple technique, it is still a time-consuming and labor-intensive craft. This is especially true if you want to make delicate punch needle embroidery with fine thread. Digitized solutions such as tufting guns and computerized fabricators are mainly designed for large-scale rug making. Therefore, do not work with fine thread. We want to find a tool to fabricate delicate punch needle embroideries for various reasons. We are especially excited about the potential for using punch needle embroidery pieces as prototyping materials. Let me give you a quick example. When embroidery machines become widely available, it became very easy to produce customized embroidery pieces. Artists and researchers can afford to play with this technique and the artifacts produced by this technique. Thus, using embroidered artifacts in domains such as wearable technology and IoT designs become possible. Our goal is to make the fabrication of punch needle embroidery widely available. In this project, we demonstrate how an XY plotter could be converted into a delicate punch needle embroidery fabricator. Using a widely available pen plotter, we can produce precise embroidery pieces with minimal manual labor. Our solution includes hardware additions to the plotter and software supports for generating plotter-compatible embroidery patterns. There are a variety of challenges in converting a tool intended for one medium to another. Let's take a look at our hardware solution first. The first challenge is to find a good mechanical starting point, a computer-controlled machine that supports the movement required for punch needle embroidery production. We evaluated a number of devices and ended up with an axi jaw, a high-precision pen plotter that operates on a flat surface. For a complete summary of the criteria and trade-offs, I encourage you to take a look at our paper. The selection of materials is an essential part of any fabrication process. The choice of the fabric, thread, and the stretching frame are especially crucial to get right for punch needle embroidery because thread loops can be put out easily. We tested a variety of fabric and thread combinations. For the particular plotter that we are using, we find that the combination of organza and polyester thread works the best. Unlike other types of embroidery where the stretching of the fabric might be optional, punch needle embroidery requires tightly stretched fabric. We find that gripper frame, a type of wooden frame covered with curved metal needles, works the best. 
We tested a variety of fine punch needles that are available on the market. None of the existing needles actually work with a plotter because the thread goes through the bottom of the handle. We need to thread the needle differently because our plotter doesn't provide enough piercing force on the z-axis. Because XyDraw utilizes gravity to lower the tool that it is holding, an easy solution is to increase the weight of the needle so that it is heavy enough to pierce through the backing fabric. In comparison to other locations, adding weight to the top of the needle is the most effective approach. Instead of designing a brand new needle that might require a complicated fabrication process, we decided to focus on designing a handle and pairing it with commonly available needle heads. We also want to make sure the materials that we're using are easily available. After several design iterations, we arrived at a simple solution that satisfies all of our punch needle production needs. To make a punch needle handle, you will need a syringe, a plastic cup, a pen cap, and some coins to serve as a weight. Let's cut several threading holes near the top of the syringe. Use glue or tape to fix the pen cap to the plastic cup. That's it! Your punch needle handle is ready. You are now ready to assemble the needle to the handle and start the fabrication process. We added a couple of accessories to make the fabrication process smoother. This includes a thread station, a thread feeder, and a frame holder. These components dramatically reduce thread tangling and unintended movement of the gripper frame. With all of the physical setups done, let's take a look at how to design an embroidery pattern. To make a pattern, designers want to figure out where to punch and how to punch. If we want to embroider a line like this, we essentially want to segment it into different chunks and punch the point that connects those chunks. If you want to punch two lines that have a distance between them, you need to cut the thread at the end of the first line before jumping to the next line, otherwise you will pull the previous loops out. Because plotters can't cut the thread for us, we used an alternative strategy of adding trail points. Now we figured out where we are punching, we can think about how to punch. We mainly want to control the depth and speed of the punching movement. For example, shorter loops need to be punched with a lower speed, whereas longer loops can be produced relatively faster. To make the design process easier, we developed a Python-based toolkit called Thread Plotter that helps users to design plotter-compatible punch needle patterns. This tool provides a wide range of functions that helps you to draft designs or convert an image into a design. It also provides utility functions such as thread color matching. It is open source and publicly available. Using our hardware and software solution, we designed and fabricated a large number of embroidery pieces to demonstrate the unlimited possibilities that an XY plotter can bring to the world of delicate punch needle embroidery. For example, we can convert a raster image into an embroidery piece. We can fabricate 3D embroideries by adjusting the loop size dynamically. We can also execute generative designs and experiment with this technique. Of course, our solutions and results are limited by the machines and the materials that are available to us. For example, the loop lens that we can fabricate with our plotter is quite limited. In the future, we hope to expand this study by collecting additional user feedback and analyzing the performance of the thread plotter toolkit on other platforms such as DIY XY plotters. We hope this work can support unconventional applications of this versatile fiber-based craft. We also hope to spark discussion on designing accessible craft fabricators. We're very excited to see what you can create with this fabrication technique. Thank you very much. You can find more about this project at this link.